sport gets underway. Mm. Here on Breakfast, uh, we've been following the story of two ospreys named Louis, oh, Louis and Ayla. They're nesting at Loch Archaig Pine Forest in the Scottish Highlands. So you can see uh, some of the images there. They have been watched by more than a quarter of a million people. Uh, these images live streamed after welcoming three osprey chicks into the world. And now the public has a chance to name them. We're joined by George Anderson from the Woodland Trust. Um, good morning to you, George. Um, I've got to say, I mean, they look fabulous. They look gorgeous. It's, and it's, it's captured the imagination of so many people. I think some, some who just want a bit of a peaceful vista to others who are genuinely interested to see from the time we saw the eggs to now the chicks. What kind of names are, are, are being suggested? Well, we've had um, discussions for names been running over the week and we've had a couple of thousand suggestions. It's been really difficult to, to boil them down. But what we've got is four sets of three names. So people would be voting uh, between now and Sunday night f um, on four possibilities for them. And those are Doddy, Vera and Captain, in order of Doddy Weir, um, Dame Vera Lynn um, and Captain Tom, who's obviously been a big hero uh, this summer. Um, Ali, Bally and B is the, is, the, is the second choice, which is a, from a Scottish lullaby, uh, Coulter's Candy. Um, there's quite a lot of Norse and Celtic mythology was coming through. So we've got Hagrid, Boudicca and Merlin. Um, Hagrid, obviously, a bit of the Harry Potter influence there. And finally, we've got Thor, Freya and Loki. Uh, so those are four sets of names that we'll be voting on um, at the Woodland Trust through social media and at our live streaming um, Osprey Camp page until eight o'clock on Sunday night. So we'll be able to tell you on Monday morning um, what we're going to name the future. George, now, I, I don't know, are you able to see the, the live images that we can show people right now? Are you able to see them from where you are? Not at the moment. I'm Not at the moment, because I just have to say, once or twice, and I'll be honest with you, George, we have crossed to the live pictures and there's not been much happening. That's the truth. <laughs> this morning, though, we have quite a bit of activity. And, I mean, it's so wonderful when you see the birds there perched oh. high above that wonderful backdrop behind. The thing I would say is when you look at the size of them, keep in mind that one of them was born, it was hatched on the 29th of May, and the other two, the 1st and 3rd of June. And they've literally gone, if you think about the time scale, it's just incredible that they've got so big so quickly, and that within a month or two, they'll be flying thousands of miles uh, uh, to West Africa. And that never fails to just amaze me, the speed at which they develop. And, and we I expect them to take their first flights possibly this week, uh, into next week, so that's a really great, great time to watch them for the first time making that leap of faith. George, there are two males and a female. Um, I don't know if we, we've already mentioned that. When they do take that first flight, and that is exciting news this week, do the parents, do Louis and Ayla, literally just kick them off the nest and hope they fly? No, um, they, they, they do it themselves. They, 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 you, you'll see them in the moment quite having a look over quite a lot and actually our, our watching audience is gasping all the time because they think they're going to fall off because they're, they're always kind of going just to the edge. But they'll literally, they'll have a think about it. They've been exercising their wings. The helicopter, which is basically rising up three or four feet off the nest just to test out the equipment. But eventually they'll literally stand on the edge like you were on a diving board on holiday and they'll go for it. Mum and dad aren't really part of that at all. Uh, George, it's been good talking to you. Look forward to hearing the names, um, of course, uh, from Sunday evening and, of course, the first flights from the chicks. Thanks very much, George Anderson from the Woodland Trust.